Hey everybody, uh, I figured I'd do a video on how to clean uh, your bearings, so uh, basically what you want to do is just take like a sharp tool like this to get off your rubber seal, and uh, basically what I did was I just went in here and uh, very gently just popped that off. And then do the same for the back. So I have the bearing right here. This goes to my differential to my slash. I'm going to come out with another video showing you how to uh, take that out, put back together, and all that good stuff. But as of right now, I wanted to show you all how to take out the bearing and how to clean it. So what we're going to do is drop it in the bowl. Hit it with some uh, carb cleaner. You want to make sure that you, uh, after you clean it, that you never want to actually turn the bearing without any grease in it because you can damage it. Let that sit there for a minute and soak. Get all that junk out. It already feels better. I'm gonna hit it again. Try to spray out some of that stuff. RPM makes a, a bearing cleaner, but uh, I mean either way, you can hold it. You can. You don't need to buy something to hold it for you. You just hold it with your finger. I don't know if you can see all that stuff at the bottom, but that's out of the bearing. It already feels a lot smoother. I'm going to blow it out a little bit. I'm just gently turning it just to make sure I'm getting all the dirt out. I can see there's still more dirt in there. Take a uh, Clean Q-tip. And uh, just get in there and get out any kind of excess you can. Be careful not to get any of that lint in there. I hit it with some more carb cleaner. I mean, this thing was really dirty. I'm going to let that dry there for a minute. While that's drying, I'm going to take some... Uh, engine degreaser and hit my uh, hit my seals this will help clean those off without eating them up and take your uh, q-tip and I'll just clean those right up they should be blue that's uh, the tracks the shields As you can see, it's cleaning that up. Never want to use the carb cleaner on uh, your uh, rubber seals. That will just uh, eat them up. Carburetor cleaner is uh, very, very uh, uh, erosive. has uh, methylene chloride in it, so it can eat away your uh, rubber seals. I'm just going to take a, a rag real gently and clean this off. Don't want to get all that grease back in your clean bearing.
I'm gonna hit it with some more uh, engine degreaser. Pretty caked up. Set this off to the side. Don't want to get nothing on there. Kind of let that sit there for a minute. Come back and just gently wipe all that grease off of there. As you can see, there's a big difference now. Alright, so now that we got our diff bearing out of our diff housing, that's the inside of the diff, and then there, that's what goes to your, uh, your bulkhead. But anyways, um, so now that we got the bearing out, we got it cleaned, now we're going to use uh, three and one. Uh, it's a petroleum dilutant, so it's uh, safe to use for uh, bearings. You don't want anything that's gonna like leave moisture or anything. So you can use this. So what you're gonna do is spray a little bit in there. You don't want to get it too wet. I'm just gonna go lightly around. Let that soak in. I don't put it on my finger, start to spin it. And as you can see, it's spinning quite nicely now. No more grinding, no more dirt. And as that, that oil sits in there, it'll lubricate it more. I can already feel it starting to free up more. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put our rubber seals back on. Just going to push those in gently with our thumbnail. Or you can use like a, a screwdriver or something. But you don't want to use nothing that's going to damage the seal. I'm going to do the same for this side. Make sure the blue side is facing out. And again, just push that in there real lightly. You're going to notice that the grease is going to come through a little bit. That's okay. This wipe away the excess. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put it back in the, uh, the housing itself. So this is going to be the inside, just going to push that down in there, like so. Make sure it's in there all the way, nice and snug. Take you a Q-tip and just wipe away the excess oil. And whatever else kind of grease you can get out from inside there. You don't want no dirt or anything loose in there. It's going to spin up. And that's how you clean your bearing for your uh, Traxxas Slash diff housing and uh, more to come.